Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe. As you saw from the description, this is another shop with me. Now, I got some very disappointing news. <sighs> I got an email from Dollar Tree. I had ordered the Royal Norfolk Blue Floral Print Dinner Plates. And the email last night told me they canceled that order. These were the dinner plates I was supposed to be able to come to the store to pick up. They were going to send them directly to the store. I received the salad plates. Those were delivered directly to my house, which were not available for in-store pickup. Odd. But now I'm going to be on the hunt for my floral, uh, Royal Norfolk blue floral dinner plates. Not just for me, but for my daughter as well. So... I'm here at my my new favorite Dollar Tree, the one that's closest to my home, less than a half mile. And we'll see if they've got what they've got. All right. If any of you guys spot them in your place, please comment below. Let me know where you are so I can come over and get them. Okay. Let's see what they got. Okay. This is the weekly wow. So these are new. I see these, but behind this display is the plates, so I'm going straight there to look. And if they're there, I'm grabbing them. Oh, that's a nice, cute little garden display. Let's see. There they are. Oh my gosh, here they are. Yep, they're mine. There's my dinner plates. <laughs> me and enough for my daughter and it looks like they have plenty <clears throat> here are the bowls which I got last year the mugs very nice I picked these up for my daughter last year I wasn't interested in the mugs but they also have the pot holders the towels the smaller pot holders and the drinkware these are pretty but I don't know if I'm gonna get those or not. These they usually have plenty of. It's the plates that they lack. Thank God I didn't have to go on a big hunt. Yeah, they canceled my order because they put them here on the floor. I'm not bitter. I got my plates. Okay. What is this? Okay, so those who are still using these, these were as seen on TV. I guess as masks are kind of going away, if you're going to still wear them though, I mean, I think we're going to be more conscious of times, especially if you're flying. This would be huge. There's still some areas. I've never seen this before. Wow. An entire end cap of peeps. They do have party cake flavor. Donut shop flavor. I'm, I like marshmallow. And then they also have cotton candy. These, this is what I grew up with. Yellow peeps. That's all they had when I was growing up. And the flavors aren't different, just the color. But now they are having flavored ones, which I'm curious about those coffee ones, but I don't know. I'm curious to get these and try them with s'mores, but who knows. All right, we're in the candle aisle. I thought I would change things up. They still seem to have plenty of these really pretty scripture candles. The fragrance on these is really nice. I'm hoping I don't catch too much of the conversations in the background. This is Amber Shimmer. Very nice and soft. And then this one is Sun Bleached Woods. It's very farmhouse looking in. I love this one. It smells very similar to this one. I don't know if that's... Yeah. Candles. I love their standards. Apple cinnamon. These luminescence candles. I love these. They're so... So rich and fragrant. I love them. The apple cinnamon's my favorite for those. Also on the deck aisle on the other side of the candles, I've heard. Yes, I will pick that up. <laughs> Have you 
guys try these? Are they good? I know these are really nice. These are really good, strong lights. But I haven't tried any of these. I've heard from other people that they're really awesome and they love them. But I don't have a need for them at this point. But yeah. I'm actually on the lookout for... Um, not the disinfecting wipes. The wipes that you're supposed to use for computers and keyboards, you know, electronics. Ooh. Velcro. They call them hook and loop fasteners, but squares are the adhesive I think you need to put them on oh there is an adhesive on the back nice good to know and they also have them in black So if you need help, ask for it. Look what's here. Screen clean, wipe cloth included in the lid. And here's another one. Okay, I'm gonna get both. I was looking for the packs of wipes, but that looks really good. I walked right by it, didn't even look. All right, we're in the crafting section. And if they've got any new things. Oh, here are those paper packs. Don't miss out on those. Glitter patches. Oh, get these to cut out shapes. I love it. You get two. That's cute. If you got little things, this is a great way to organize them. Bead sequins, you know, this stuff. This stuff. <laughs> trying to see the size of the hole and see if these would be a good bead for pipe cleaners for my granddaughter. Oh, look at that. These I know would work with the um, pipe cleaners. Okay, that's a good deal. And these I can tell the hole is big enough. I'm just gonna have to come in here and do some bead shopping. That's not today. Today I was after the plates and I'm gonna try to be disciplined enough to stay with just the plates. Now, I don't know, this has one and a half yards of the fastener strip, but we saw the hardware also has fastener strip in white and black. I don't know if this gives you more or if the other one gives you more. From just appearance alone, this one seems to be more. But the other one may have adhesive on the back. This one does not. I have used the Dollar Tree glue gun and it works very well. I haven't tried this yet. I would imagine you would have to have a glue gun just for glitter glue sticks, right? Seems there would be residue that would come out and other things. Glad they're still stocking those. And the craft picker. Okay. 
and the canvases. I took my granddaughter to a painting lesson. It's really cute and she used, I guess, one of a, a canvas like this. I'm anxious to um, do some more painting with her on those smaller ones, bigger ones, whichever. She really seemed to, to love it. I'm also on the hunt for the chalkboard labels. And guess what I see down here? Oh boy, look at this. Yep, don't mind if I do. Let me grab a couple. I was looking for these, but I'll take the circles too. I'm not going to take all of them. Look at these stamps. These are nice. And these fun letters. Look at the cats. Those are cats. If you're doing any kind of journaling or scrapbooking, planning of any kind, junk journaling, I love those real looking stickers. beautiful. These are stickers also. Nice, huh? I haven't bought a whole lot of stickers. I used to come in and just buy every new one that I saw. But um, kind of slowed down on that. <laughs> and of course here's the cotton twine. It's good for all kinds of crafting, different things. I wonder if you could use this for crochet with the skinny needles, you know? It's a thought. Here's the solid. And it gives you the dimensions on there, 18 by 21. This caught my eye. Look at this nice tie-dye, orange. But they seem to have a lot of the solids in here. Has anyone tried this? I'd have to check it out. The stuff I've had in the past was really kind of disappointing, but I don't think it was this brand. I think it was the ones in the tubes. You know what I'm talking about? There's like four or five in a pack. Oh, look. You have the plastic knitting needles. These I love using for Barbie accessories. Oh, more fabric. Or just, yeah, it looks like it's kitty cats. Oh, yes, I will pick that up. And then these little squares, these are also 18 by 21. These little fat quarters, it's the same dimensions as these that are rolled up. So be mindful of that and don't overlook the squares. They don't look like you're getting as much, but it's the same dimensions, literally. It's a quarter of a yard. Got here. Care Bears. I remember the Care Bears in the 80s. Oh my gosh, I had a green Care Bear, good luck bear, that I used to take with me. I was in high school. I used to take it with me on test day. LOL, these are so cute. gotten that. They have a Spider-Man magazine as well. I'll go through it. There's the Sugar Shack 21 Day Sugar Detox. 
this might be good if you, someone needs to get rid of sugar. You need to find out where the hidden sugar is. So, yeah. Okay, I had to move to the other side of the store, but there's some inappropriate conversation going on amongst some of the staff. So, I moved away so we don't have to hear it. I hardly ever come here, but I've heard some good things about these Royal Norfolk cutlery knives. I have gotten a few knives, and they're good, like if you're going to go to a picnic and things like that. I mean, they, they aren't as good a quality as some of the others. I mean, it's $1.25, but if that thing lasts you a camping trip, it's done its job. These are pretty good. They're pretty sharp. You know, this is always nice, too. are really good, the silicone sink strainers. I totally need to get me something out today. And of course, these are amazing. Not just for paper towels, but for your toilet paper. Miser baskets. I love that they have these. Splatter screens. Nice. Love those. these here. Has anyone tried these? Are they good? I do have these and I love them. And I love the colors here. I would buy every basket they have, but I would need to have a purpose for them first. <laughs> right? <clears throat> Bag clips. These are good. Bar mop towel. It says antibacterial. You see that? I wonder what makes it antibacterial. Okay. I have used these and they are fantastic, not just for providing some cushioning with your um, cast iron, but your ceramic, your pottery, stoneware. Come down the food aisle. I mostly will get things here out of convenience, mostly because I can get a better deal somewhere else. But I'm looking to see if I can find something. See, I don't know that this is the best, the best price for that. It could be, but places like Aldi have their own version of things like that, and so it's, you know, you're definitely not getting the best deal. But for convenience, you can run in here and grab some, you know, some, uh, a snack or lunch. You know, it's good to know they have something like this. You know, herring fillets, oh my gosh. I'm not a fish person. I can handle tuna and salmon. That's about it. Now these right here, these might be good prices on stuff. It's really bad. I should be much better about that. Oh. This potato gnocchi is so good, but they're heavy. And I'm watching my carbs, so I'm not eating those things, but I mean, I've had them in the past. The egg noodles, all that stuff, it's probably really good. These are the French fried onions. It's probably a good price. I love putting these on my salad because there's no carbs or very little. Yeah, it's two. Ten for a dollar at Kroger. Last time I checked, and it's a name brand. And for convenience, you'd pay the extra quarter. See, Dollar Tree's always done that. They didn't need to raise their price up a quarter because they've always gotten us on the extra. Now I do like looking here at the spices because I think, especially with these name brands, and I did get. You know, this is my chili lime. I have some of this. It's a fantastic seasoning salt. That's a good amount. And these other ones. I think you can still get a better deal of this same size. Maybe not the same brand, but the same size in Walmart for 98 cents. 
So I'm paying extra 28 cents to get it here, but that's okay. There's some flavorings that are probably more expensive. You just have to do your research yourself. I do love getting the shelf stable and now look what I'm seeing here. That's a good brand. Whole milk shelf stable. This is good until September. These are good and they taste delicious. All right, let me go ahead and come down the toy aisle. Okay. I don't know how hard that is. I'm not seeing anything new. Although I did find it and I was a little disappointed, but um, I've gotten these before and they have the two styles, which are cute. Outfits. These are the crayons. Okay, I'm not seeing anything new with the Barbie things. these activities. These are really cute because you can just prop them up and make a scene. You know, put furniture inside it and let that be the backdrop. It's really fun. It's a great way to have a dollhouse without having a dollhouse. <laughs> Base, horseshoes, and one bag of sand. See, that's a mess waiting to happen for kids. But, that's cute. One arcade game and five balls. All right. Those are cute. Yes, this is supposed to be like the Bop It. <laughs> These are the, like the Lego bases for the bricks and make it blocks. They seem to really, really be doing well with that. Yeah, those brain teasers. I don't like those because I can't do them. <laughs> and I've seen these before too. The child puts the parts together to make a motorcycle and they have an airplane. Yep, here's the airplane. And they have a truck. I think I bought all of them for my granddaughter. We had a good time putting them together, taking them apart. Okay, so got a few of these clay comes with two things of clay and the book mold. I can say these work very well with Play-Doh. I've gotten these for my granddaughter. She loves them. These right here though, there's not enough clay provided to fill the entire mold. So this would be great with the dough. I haven't gotten woody yet, but not today. these Maisto metal and here's the Jeep and the Matchbox cars. I'm sure these work. The bubble snap pops are diminishing but these are supposed to be like the um, 
lightsabers, Star Wars lightsabers. So they have blue, red, and green. It's a nice big fat doodle pad, 9 by 12 inch, 60 sheets, that's pretty good. And of course the color form games. stickers. These are just so pretty. Look, I love that. These are metal numbers. One to zero. Oh, with the pink. Very nice if you do your own cards or I thought I would check out their party section to see what they have on hand birthday party wise because I know there have been some new kind of balloons I guess added. These look like they're brighter colors. See, this is three ounces. This has 15. That's weird. But it looks like it's a mix of a variety of different types of balloons. So that has the tall skinny ones. Okay, there's the birthday candles, it looks like. They're in order. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven. No zero. Oh, zero's up there. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's good to see. It's satisfying for me to see them in proper order. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> uh, these are those takeout boxes that would just make darling little uh, goodie boxes to put things in. Cute. And then, of course, these cups. These are the balloon sticks. What I've had in the past have been the 12, the dozen ones for inside the house. I have plenty, so I don't need any more, but. And your crepe paper. All right, I'm back in the books. Let's see what we have adult-wise. Okay. Tell me who you were. How about that? Girls at 17 Swan Street, the Wolf's Table. Okay. Car Trouble. This one is the one I showed you before. Oh boy, The End of Everything, Megan Abbott. Richard and Judy Book Club. Okay, that's a book club book. fell without me touching it so but I'll pick it up <laughs> well look what we have here I have only seen these at the one place that's up where I used to work I'm glad to see these cutouts are here but I'm confused as to why they have the green like the monarch butterfly the orange I still don't know why they're here in floral and garden because these are all made of paper they should be in the crafts Okay, that's it. The uh, chatty employees, um, I'm having a hard time going through and finding because their conversations get loud and someone just screamed, so that'll be it for today. Um, I hope you
you decide to like and subscribe. I'm so glad I got my plates. That was why I came and that's what I got. So make sure you like and subscribe and bye until next time.